July. Would you take that right he's now? Fight, he's fighting Joe Yoga's Gamboa. I think he's supposed to, I think he's supposed to be competing against Joe Yoga's Gamboa. And of course I'll take that fight. I'm willing to compete against any of these guys that has a title. Right now I'm at 126. If they don't give me Leo, I'ma move up and immediately challenge Burchett. And he's about to Burchell, fight. He's fighting tonight. He's about to he's fight. Fighting tonight. That's that'll be perfect timing because I'll be fighting next week. And I'll be fighting next week. Me and Deontay, the longest reigning champions, will be competing on the same card. Two Olympians, of the same 2008 Olympians. You know what I'm saying? Deontay, that's been my man for a minute. So we're going we to we get two W's, two WBC champions, and hopefully we're going to get two knockouts. And after that, it would be perfect timing for me to move up and wait. If they don't give me Leo Santa Cruz, I've been trying Do to get Do you have a problem Santa. making 126? I was 126 last night. <laughs> I was 126 last night. But guess what, though? Guess what else? I don't have a problem moving up to 130. Test yourself. To 135. You will go to 135? That's what Lomachenko went. I ain't forgot about him. I'm going to break my foot off in his ass. Before the conclusion of my career. You're not ducking Lomachenko? No, ain't nobody ducking yes. nobody. Man. Yes. Man. Yes. Come on, man. I got to I gotta ask these questions because that's what the fans do. I go live every day. So that's what the fans are saying, you know. So right now. You're not looking past your fight next weekend. Not at all. We never underestimate. Tell our people opponent. about your opponent next weekend. We fighting the guy uh, Kiko Martinez. You know, uh, we never underestimate nobody. And to be honest with you, the reason why I say I never underestimate nobody is based on the fact that I never really pay attention to my opponents. It's my objective to be the best that I could possibly be on that night. You gonna see the best, Mr. Curry Russell Jr. Whenever I step in that switch, hands down. Kigo, I'm, he is nothing against him, but it shouldn't even be him that I'm fighting. I shouldn't even be fighting him. This should be a Leo Santa Cruz. I'm tired of fighting my mandatories and all these other guys. I keep fighting the mandatories. Everybody asks him why I'm fighting once a year. The reason why is because none of these other dudes that we just mentioned, a Scott Quigg, uh, 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 Josh Warrington, Josh Warrington, none of these guys, Mars. Carl Frampton, yes. none of these guys was in the rush to get in the ring with me. Okay. Abner Mars just recently, Whoa. just recently Whoa. said that he won the opportunity to compete against me. He sounds stupid. He yeah. just got a, he had a detached retina. He had a detached retina. It seems to me like he's ready to throw himself in the lines then just to make a little bit of money. Yeah. Keep himself relevant. His eyesight, though. Oh, he has a detached retina. That's a serious ruin, injury. I will serious ruin injury. the rest of the career that he has left. If you got in the ring with Abner Mars right now. I will ruin the rest of the career that he has left. He's talking just to talk. He even don't know. He don't even think that he can be. Oh, come on, man. He didn't, they offered they off, they off him to fight. They offered him to fight back when. And he didn't take the fight. They offered Leo Santa Cruz to fight back when. And they didn't take the fight. So, man, come on, man. I'm tired of people dangling these guys in front of me. To everybody that don't know, I'm a complete free agent. I'm not signed with nobody. Al Heyman. We have a good business relationship. We work together very, very well. But I'm not under anyone's umbrella. Tevin Farmer. What about him? Would you fight him? He's not relevant. He don't even generate enough revenue. He's not relevant. I don't, I, I don't he got know. the IBF strap. He's not relevant. But if, I had, if I had it my way, if I had it my way, I would fight Leo Santa Cruz first. I would burn him up just like I did in the amateurs. I beat him in the amateurs. This is the reason why I was a 2008 Olympian. And he he said he wanted to get the revenge that loss out of his Man, own mouth. Listen. He said that. Listen, listen. He's talking just to save face, but I don't see him getting in the ring. I don't see him signing the contract. I don't see him saying, let's make this fight happen. He did an interview, and the headline of his story was, I'm not afraid to lose. Who the fuck says that as a fighter? That makes no sense to me. If I had it my way, like I said, Leo Santa Cruz first, I would immediately, I would immediately, I would immediately vacate my title. Okay. Move up to 130 and challenge Burchett. He has the, he has the, uh, the, the WBC. After him, 
I would love to get a unification match with uh, uh, Javante Tank Davis. That's unified because I had a WBC. Yeah. And after that, I Lomachenko, Lomachenko is about to fight for the WBC at 135. I heard about that. I would immediately vacate my title. So is he fighting for Joe? Is he fighting for Joe? Nah, Burchette is at 30. Okay. Lomachenko is at 35. Vacant title. Yeah, he's fighting the vacant title. Mikey Garcia's old title. Yeah, he's fighting for Mike Garcia's old title at 135. At 135. You know about this already. Man, listen, I'm on, I'm, I keep my foot on everybody's neck. I'm not yeah. playing with these guys, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm not playing. They know what it is. Yes. So he's fighting for a vacant belt. He's fighting for a vacant title, which is cool because but, now. But they said, hold on, let me ask you this. The WBC actually lets you move up. And fight and be the mandatory and for be another mandatory belt. For Why time. couldn't you fight for that belt? Well, because I'm at 126. If I move up, I'll have to move up and fight for 130. That's why I would have to be Burchett. Okay, okay. He has the 130 belt. But he would have to fight you. He will have to fight. He will have to fight. He will have to fight. Yes. And after Burchett, I will want to unify. He'll have to fight. No Machigo yeah. had a. And I will want. Oh I will want. I will want to fight Javante yeah. Tank Davis. We're unified. So you're on his neck right now. Man, I'm, man, I'm not playing with these guys, picture. man. I'm not doing these guys. I'm doing the interviews. So look, look, right now, Javante Davis is on your hit list. Anybody that has a title is on my list. Mm. Don't just make it like it's just about yeah. Shorty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a young July 27. He's a young, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, when I move up and wait, if you don't want to get ran over. He said you were small, you know, though. He's saying I'm small because I'm 126. He's 130. This is this. You gotta pay attention to the lingo in which that people play with. They they try to play with this wordplay. Yeah. Well, he's smaller than me. Well, he's 126. I'm moving up. I, I, if I don't get if I don't get Loma, uh, Leo, I'm moving up and I want Burchett because he has the title. Leo don't want to fight me for real. Leo don't want to fight me. I burned his ass up in the amateur. He don't want to fight me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm tired of them dangling Leo Santa Cruz over my head. Like, we okay, we're going to gonna fight him. This, then, the sir. If it don't happen, then I'm moving up. I want Burchett. And after Burchett, I want to unify with Tank. And then I'm moving up. So when you fight next weekend, are you going to fight another time this year? I would love to fight another time this year. The question is, would you get one of these other fighters that I'm talking about <laughs> to get in the ring with? There you go. That's the question. Well, this there interview will put a lot of pressure on these guys. Right, right. I'm telling you right now, to end this interview, what are your final thoughts, you know, on, on, the, on the division at 126? Man, tell these dudes to grow some cojones, man. Come see me. <laughs> This is Gary Russell Jr., you guys. It's Corey Lee Boxing, and we're back with another banger.